Before we get started, I'd like to thank Jax Bizarre. You may recognize him from the Gamer Gear podcast. He's been a massive help, not only in this video, but for the channel as a whole. I would not be here without him. Let's get straight into it. By the way, if you haven't heard of this game before, this game is a satire commentary on the cuckold lifestyle. It is not for actual cucks. If you are watching this, then Cuckold Simulator has been out for a whole year. You may remember that I made a video last year. Chances are that one of my videos on Cuckold Simulator were your first introductions to my channel. Look at my most popular videos on my channel. A lot of them are Cuckold Simulator streams. Very crazy thinking about. But we'll save about my big break on YouTube and all the sappy rants that I could go on. Because when I made that initial review, I'm going to bring it up quite a bit. Just hold on. I was not that good at speaking. I used plenty of filler words. And since then, I got a lot better. I have much better thumbnails and editing. I cannot stand to look at some of those old videos. It's kind of uh, not too good. I didn't even write a script for that original video. But since I made that original review, and I swear this is going to be the last time for a while that I will mention it, the Pride Month update was the most recent event that I could cover. So I'll be covering everything up to that point, and then I'll go into each update individually. So without further ado, let's go down the slippy slide. On April 14th, 2021, the Cuckold Simulator Steam launch trailer was released to widespread virality. YouTubers were talking about the game, and Twitter users were probably triggered. I wouldn't know, I didn't make a Twitter until I became a content creator with some amount of relevancy. I remember first catching wind of this trailer from Yellow Flash's stream called Flashcast, and later the quartering made a video covering it. It is easy to tell how it got over 1,600 views. It features every single stereotype of a soy boy meme. The main character wears a fedora, has a weak chin, has black stepchildren that don't respect him, the wage cage, living in California, the Biden-Harris bumper stickers, a verbally abusive fat wife, Funko Pops, and Marvel references. There is even a cameo from the NPC Wojak. Luckily, there are plenty more jokes for those that dabbled into the game. It's not one of those comedy movies where the trailers show all the funny jokes. The most infamous feature was easily browsing Reddit in an in-game browser. Even better is that you can put any URL into the address and browse any website. This was so popular that in a later update, a video encoder was added to the browser, meaning you are able to watch YouTube, Twitch, Odyssey, Rumble, whatever website you get your videos on. While I'm typing this out, I am just now realizing that <clears throat> pornographic content could be accessed from this game. I would never condone this, but it would be really funny if somebody tweeted at Team Sneed with an image of a glazed keyboard in front of the browser, inside a game, on the monitor. But, <laughs> but let's first discuss the foundation of the game that everything else was built upon. There honestly was not all that much back in the day. You had four locations, your home, the office, Chinatown, and the club. The beauty was in the density of the atmosphere. Yes, the office is a means to get money and nothing more until later updates add the boss. But if you deviate from the desired path, you would see your NPC co-workers with generic corporate friendly meme posters scattered on the walls. 
Not to mention that you work in a literal wage cage. In your own household, you may be the man, but you submit to literally everyone. Deshaun does not respect you as his dad and watches Twitch thoughts all day. Your wife is more worried about Tyrone than you, which is a very low bar considering it was revealed in a later update that she just saw him as another BBC. Also, there's Tyrone Jr. that just crawls around the entire neighborhood. Before later updates, the neighborhood has nothing else besides Funky Pops, the hidden collectibles that Cuckold proudly displays in his computer room. Also, these Funky Pops were scattered about by Deshaun in the first place. Yeah, Deshaun does not respect Cuckold. And frankly, if I was his son, I wouldn't either. The club is sparsely populated with NPCs, an anime cat girl that takes her money and ditches you, and an Asian bartender that tips you to Chinatown. This would get more content in later updates, such as the Pride Month update, Jack Goldman, and Young Roscoe. Chinatown is where everything and everyone is Asian. You need to convert your currency over. There's a bar, which you will find another Asian bartender and a cuck in denial. And you actually teach him that it's okay to be a cuckold. Yeah, I feel I feel guilty now after doing that event. A drug dealer who may or may not be transgender and a GameStop knockoff, which leads us to the first major update. Teased in the initial announcement trailer, Cuck Souls was released merely 10 days after originally coming out. Cuckold can hold a gun, even if he is holding it wrong. I mean, to be fair, if I lived in California, I probably wouldn't know much about trigger control. I will tell you right now, so far, I have yet to actually succeed in this game mode. I haven't put much time in it, to be fair. But I, I, may, I may have like twisted my wrist while trying to roll past the blades. That's this is kind of ridiculous, but you know, Team C is probably gonna call me a pussy now. There is also another mini game called Anime Girl Genocide, where you go to a sh <laughs> where you go to school and shoot anime girls that have taken over. I am, I am gay. The Pride Month update was the most recent update at the time of first recording my review. My original review, by the way, in case you couldn't tell. This is a short mission that is initiated in the club after a lecture from a lesbian. You must spread the gay gospel. This game predicted the grooming controversy. Once you groom enough people, you go back to the lesbian and get your flag proudly displayed on your lawn. It is the progressive pride flag with colors representing black and brown bodies. I think that's the right term for it. I really don't care either way. It's just funny being ironically politically correct. But this is not the new new flag that has the intersex icon. So there is room to be even more progressive. By the time my original video was posted, this event was already on its way out. If you want that sexy gay sex flag, then your system clock will have to be set during the month of June. This was easily the biggest update yet. This has been critical for shaping the identity of the game as a whole. This being Night 7, a special event where you play as Tyrone shooting at cops. An essential plot point, and I couldn't imagine the plot going any other way. This ended up getting spun off into a standalone game, which we will cover more of that later. This update also added a neighbor in the neighborhood that I previously called Baron. His name is Wayne. The creator told me that this man was inspired by someone in real life. Was Wayne inspired by anyone in particular? 
But Wayne, Wayne's a real person. <laughs> oh, wait. Like, directly? Yeah, it's Wayne Lambright. I've never heard of him before. Well, there's a lot of material about him. One of his, uh, I guess, online associates messaged me. He's like, hey, man, you should put Wayne Lambright in the game. And I, I kind of knew who Wayne was, but not, like, <laughs> fully. I'm like, all right. Yeah, we can do this. Like, he gave his blessing and everything, and then one of them uh, made up the model for him. <laughs> so I didn't have to do that part, which was nice because I'm really bad at modeling. And it actually worked perfectly because I wanted, I had like a plan for a character that was going to do what Wayne was going to do, but I didn't have like the character design. And then Wayne came along and like Wayne kind of was naturally like the character anyway. So I'm like, all right, this is perfect. We're going with it. By the way, the creator actually got an interview from me, your host, Manic the Manic Mechanic back in december of 2021 so after watching this you should watch that very good interview and insightful on the game you now have an inventory system where you can change your hat mask and there's crafting which i don't even think works right now and there's also mission items a new chapter to anime girl genocide was added this being way more of an industrial environment fun fact about that also revealed in my interview with Team Sneed is the most important interview of the decade, by the way. This was added because a speedrunner asked Team Sneed for another level to speedrun. All right. So of of all the uh so the la last update the one before the last update, you added a second level to Anime Girl Genocide. I just I just like to know what made you think of that setting as opposed to like, you know, the school for the first level. You know, I'm very glad somebody finally brought this up because Anime Girl Genocide's obviously complete throwaway. It was something I worked on like a year and a half ago. <laughs> I'm like, all right, this sucks. I'm not gonna do anything with it. I threw it aside. And then when I was making this and I made the snitch, I'm like, oh, I can just copy paste this and here I got like free content. And because it's a game in a game, it doesn't have to be good. So I didn't expect anybody at all to give a shit about it. And I haven't, but there was one guy on YouTube. I think his name is Wubs. He decided he wanted to speed run Anime Girl Genocide. So when I, I put the achievement in for speed running it, I set it at like 81 seconds or something because I was like the fastest I could do it. And then he comes along and just like totally breaks the fucking game and <laughs> got it down to like 45 seconds. And then he's like, hey, dude, do you think you can make a part two of Anime Girl Genocide for me? I'm like, yeah okay why not and as for why i chose that specific environment it's because I, I already had it purchased from something else oh. i'm like all right i'm just gonna use this industrial field i don't care okay because i i thought the joke was with the first level is that oh you're at a school like th that's very shocking right but i'm not very shocked at, like killing people in an industrial and environment the, the, the first one was definitely like a nod to uh Yandere dev the second one <laughs> No inspiration at all. Just no inspiration. Hawk, hawk together, hawk together environment to uh, satisfy uh, Mr. Speedrunner. One additional thing, due to not enough players knowing that DLC items are mailed to the mailbox, it now glows when it has more items. Insert joke about feds here. This was released September twenty fourth, twenty twenty one, and exactly two months later, we would get. A quest featuring the rapper Young Roscoe, which by the way, he's completely made up for this game. This takes place after Tyrone is arrested. Your wife is looking for some new BBC and Deshaun wants to see the hot new rapper in the club. You as the stepdad reject his wants. When you are at the concert, you see Deshaun there against your will because he does not respect you, but he does help you talk to young Roscoe because you are not cool enough to talk to your bulls yourself. You book a hotel in Chinatown and your wife gives you a fat exposition dump. This being where she reveals that Tyrone is not all that important to her. This is the top 10 anime betrayals. This is, this is like, I'm tearing up thinking about it. Holy shit. On another note, 
the anime girl that has been sitting in the club since the very beginning has been collecting dust. Finally got her own quest. A new prop on the lawn has been added and in classic cuck fashion, it is just horrendous sign that infuriates me absolute mm, so <sighs> it's just full of empty platitudes everything else is more or less miscellaneous or quality of life updates my stream of this update is actually the most viewed video on my channel that is not a short i have a short that blew the hell up i don't know why this stream of all my videos is the most popular but you know, it's cool. It's cool. All right, so I, we already covered Jack Murphy, correct? As a as a parody yeah. for our game, <laughs> our game, your game. <laughs> My bad. Yeah, just uh, you know, I like uh, a lot. This of, is this uh, is the people's game. The it people's is, is game. game. All right, yeah, so. You know, a lot of people, whenever I say Cuckle Simulator, they're like, oh, Donovan Sharp, Jack Murphy, or Fresh and Fit. Those are always the go-to people that, like, they think. So I'm, I'm assuming that, you know, your stance will stay firm. You're not going to add them. Probably not. Okay. I wouldn't bet on it. This came out mere days after the conservative slash manosphere influencer, Jack Murphy, Expose himself as a fraud on the podcast You Are Here, hosted by Elijah Schaefer and Sydney Watson. Sydney read a super chat, and Jack's reaction tells it all. You Are Here does not kink shame. I want to bring that out that we do not kink shame. If you're like, if you don't want to have, if you hate women, don't want to have any sex at all, that's your lifestyle. Or if you're a nude model, that's your lifestyle. You can, in fact, be a new, you can be both at the same time. <laughs> Mr. Dick and Bowles says, hey, Jack. <laughs> See, she's just what she does. She does this. Like, she reads it like that's normal. Like, it's not even, she's not even just like, I'm not going to skip the name. She just goes, Mr. Dick and Bowles said. Could you please clear up the cuck article you wrote? I am not going to talk about Again? this. Okay. And basically, you know what? Fuck you me? for bringing this up right here and right now. Me? Why Why are you doing this to me? I didn't know that. I didn't know what it was. Well, just use a little bit of fucking common sense. Sorry, apologies. Yeah. Fuck, uh, you, fuck you. Elizabeth Heartfelt. Elizabeth uh, Harrison says, gonna, uh, gonna miss the show, but have a good break. I-H-T-A-C, what's that? <coughs> <coughs> what? Nothing. I'm just, guy. I literally was just coughing. It's just an inconvenient cough. Jack Goldman will be Cuckold's mentor and will even bestow his zinc beard onto him with plenty of personal stories of how he likes being cucked, perform some tasks and hand over some money to join the seminal order. Fun fact, also from my interview with Team Sneed, the developer of this game. I actually talked to him about adding Jack Murphy. This was before he went on You Are Here. Because, you know, the cuckold article was kind of infamous in some circles already before it got exposed as a super chat on stream but i i did tell him that he should add jack murphy and then he said no then you know jack murphy blew up all over the place and then he added him so you know you know this game would be so much more successful if i was This was the obvious response for a video game developer to the 2022 Oscars moment that everybody saw, despite nobody actually watching the Oscars. But in terms of Cuckle Simulator lore, Cuck Smith has starred in many hit TV series such as The Fresh Cuck of No Hair and Men and Wife. He watched the Oscars where Chris Rock actually makes a funny joke and gets slapped. Just because Chris Rock got slapped for the joke doesn't doesn't make his GI Jane joke any funny. That was kind of, that, like that's that's referencing a property from the 90s. Like why? It's a glorified cutscene. 
<laughs> Don't you just want to see who will win BIPOC actor slash actress of the year, son? Or best BIPOC motion picture? Nah, those MFs evil. They be eating children and shit, like me. <laughs> where do you get- where do you read such a thing? It's not true! None of your business. Celebrities are the moral backbone of our society! They would never do such a thing! It's unthinkable! Nah, you stupid as fuck, man. They pedophiles too, and they worship Satan. You know the heels with the red all over the hose wear? That shit represent blood on the innocent. I don't have time to argue about this. I need to turn on the Oscars now! It's already started! I hope we didn't miss anything good. We'll have to talk about your internet history later. I'm concerned that you're being indoctrinated by alt-right Nazis. But for now, Oscars! Nah, nah, but for real though, y'all seen Cuck Smith's wife? <laughs> I heard she's going to be the new Mr. Clean. 21st century, got to make everything black and female. And there ain't a balder bitch than her out there. That's for sure. How does she find so many men to sleep with anyway, huh? Now, I know some of y'all out there in the audience, so come on, let me know. You really like them bald bitches? Or is it you just fuck with old cuck here? For real though, Jada, old put that thing here. away, girl. I look out in the crowd, I'm like, damn, someone shining a light in my eye? But nah. It's just a reflection off your bald ass head. <laughs> you put wax on that thing, show is shiny. Why is this funnier than what Chris oh, Rock hey, actually hey, hey. said? Cuck Smith is coming up on stage. What's good, fella? What can I help you with? <laughs> You're never gonna insult my wife again, motherfucker. Oh shit! <laughs> so that was every update that has come out within Cuckle Simulator's one year lifespan so far. So, what are my thoughts? Well, overall, this game is really fun and I had a blast every minute playing it, streaming it. I mean, to be fair, making this video is kind of hell, but, but it was fun and it was worth it. This, this game is gonna become a very close piece of media to my heart and I would not be here if it was not for Cuckold Simulator. Yeah, now there's even the spin-off game, Tyrone vs. Cops, and that's coming on disc. So that that's gonna be fun. I'm gonna I'm gonna plan getting that that disc version. But uh thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for sticking with this channel. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. I cannot guarantee how much cuckold similar content I will make in the future, but I hope you stick around either way because we got some good projects in the works.